Whether you're looking for a ranch, a two-story, or a custom design, you're sure to find the perfect floor plan from Westridge Builders. Today, we're in the Prairie Grass Preserve, where we're going to tour the Bon Air. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. So now the Bon Air is one of your life homes. It is, brand new two-story design. Uh, as you can see, we use some brick accents on the front here, or actually a stone, a, a unique stone that we haven't used before. It has a really unique pattern to it with some triangles and some different shapes. Um, but throughout the whole front of the home, we use that material. We use some hardy plank siding, some custom cedar shutters, and uh, went with three different color schemes, and it really ties things together nicely. Now, this is one of your model homes for the 2005 Parade of Homes. It is, and, and as you know, we have the Antigua and the Bonaire as our two new life home models uh, located here in Franklin, and they're open now. All right, let's check out the inside. Great. Now, Carl, the first thing I notice when I step into the Bonaire are these gorgeous hardwood floors all the way throughout the little bathroom over there and into the kitchen. Yeah, well, you know, we went with a little darker hardwood floor in this home. As you can see, again, when you walk in, we have a nice foyer setting. Uh, spacious enough, but not uh, a waste of space. Uh, powder room off to the left here with a pocket door. Again, good use of space. Okay, a little uh, closet over here. And a nice foyer closet. Then a little bit wider hallway here uh, with these hardwood floors carrying through to, I'll again, make it feel spacious but not waste a lot of space. We have a dining room that can also be used as a den, so we put a French door on it uh, that can be closed off. Uh, we've decorated as a dining room, as you can see. That's a neat, it's a neat molding. room because it's kind of closed in, but it's kind of cool. And windows on both sides, so it lets in a lot of light. Uh, as you can see, our staircase here goes upstairs to the second low, uh, uh, floor and downstairs to the lower level with iron spindles up and down, kind okay. of a nice layout. Utility room in the back hall here has a separate mud room and utility room divided by a pocket door so you can put your laundry and stuff away and keep it uh, separate when you walk in from the garage area. Okay. Our kitchen area has a, a nice amount of cabinets. We've done some staggered cabinets here with some crown molding. Um, as you can see right across from the uh, kitchen here down the hall, we have a nice big double door pantry. And we did it like a swing pantry where you open it up and you have all the shelving in there. Okay, so it's not a walk-in, it's, it's more of a... It's not like a walk-in pantry, but it has just about as much space as a walk-in pantry, uh, but didn't quite take up as much space in the home in the floor plan when putting it in. Okay. Um, again, with these cabinets and the crown molding, we went with the granite countertops and the nice stainless steel appliances. Um, again. Always, always have a nice snack bar in the kitchen. That's really handy, especially if you have kids. Entertaining, yep. having kids yeah. breakfast, whatever you might need that for. Um, open to the dinette, open to the great room area. Uh, the dinette and the great room, as you can see, we've put in as many windows as possible back here. I believe there's nine windows and a patio door with transoms above all of them to bring in a lot of light here. Okay, and it works. And also you can see that you have a nice deck back there and a great view of a prairie. It looks like a prairie back there. We've got a wonderful lot here in the Prairie Grass Preserve subdivision uh, here in Franklin uh, with this prairie grass behind us, uh, a pond off to our right, really a nice picturesque setting. In this great room and this dinette, as you can see, we did kind of a vault ceiling. Mm -hmm. uh, again, making it a little more feel, a little more spacious with the light and, and gives a nice spacious feeling. And yet it's, it feels separated from the kitchen because you dropped the ceiling right over our head. And yeah, well, this is a flat dropped area. Now we have a second floor above here that we're gonna show you in a bit. Uh, and then this area is vaulted, so it kind of separates the rooms as well. Right back here, you're gonna point master? out. Yes, the master bedroom, I'd like to show you that. Carl, I think your decorators do a fabulous job. This is really nice in here. Yeah, you know, these uh, light blues and chocolates are really uh, in color right yeah, now. Yeah, they are. And uh, it sure looks fabulous, doesn't it? I think it does. Again, this master bedroom, first floor, has a nice uh, abundance of windows on the back. We put a transom window here above the master bedroom, just to bring in a little extra light above the bed here. Okay. And as you can see, we put some recessed lights right above the bed as well. And there's a switch on either side of the bed to turn that off and on in case one person wants to read and while one person well, wants to That's nice. Bed. And yeah, kind of a nice little spot. Thoughtful of you, Carl. Yes. <laughs> and then we have a vaulted ceiling in here that carries through right from the great room in that uh, dinette area. And we put a plant shelf above this uh, entrance into the master bath. Master bath, again, went with a really nice size master bath double sink family, went with some upgraded vessel sinks, uh, went with a ceramic tile shower, and we even fit in a really nice uh, private water closet room. Oh, okay, a separate door, that's nice. Uh, at, uh, right off the entrance on the left when we walked into was a nice big walk-in closet, which you obviously need you need something yeah. like that in a home like this. So now you have the master down here, and then how many bedrooms do you have up? We have three bedrooms upstairs with a really neat uh, computer loft that I'd like to show you. Let's go. Okay. 
This is a great little in-between area. All the bedrooms are kind of off this, this computer area, would you call it? Yeah, we call it kind of a computer loft. They have this great countertop running all the way along. They have areas for several computers. We put this transom window in here to let some light in, which is just above the lower level uh, master bedroom great room right below us here. Okay. Uh, we decided to do a kid's theme up here. Uh, three yeah, different noticed. bedrooms. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah, Blue's Clues over in this room, a surf theme here, and uh, I'm not sure what that uh, theme is. Something uh, with girls, I assume. Right. <laughs> I see pink and green. Right. <laughs> well, but they're all three nice sized bedrooms. They all have walk in closets, and they all come out to this great computer loft area with a really nice, spacious uh, bathroom up here uh, that, that's utilized by all bedrooms. It's great. Now, I know you have one more bedroom to show me, right? Way we downstairs. do. We have a finished lower level and we put a spare bedroom down there, so let's take a look at that. All right, let's go. Now, as we mentioned, there's a bedroom down here, but also a full bath, I see. Well, you know, when you come down this lower level, we've made it a, a, a kind of a simple lower level. Uh, we did put in the essentials, a nice big full bathroom. We did put in a nice spare bedroom. And uh, we're walking right into this theater type room. Uh, have a nice plasma TV on the wall, have a couch and chair, and to enjoy this room, kind of an entertainment area. We put nice. in some shelving here with the components for the TV and stereo oh, system. Okay. The home does have speakers located throughout. You know what I like is the arches everywhere. You have the arched nook there with the painting and the arched... Not overwhelming, but we have a couple arches leading into our billiards area, a couple arches on the far wall and one on that wall just to kind of tie the whole room together and keep that uh, consistency going throughout this whole lower level. Okay. And again, it's a fairly simple lower level, but it's very nice and practical. With this billiards area, we have a nice bar area with sink and um, again, the full bathroom and bedroom just complement the whole downstairs. And again, you have lots of light because it's a half exposure. Right, this lot again, like uh, the Antigua, is a half exposure lot. And um, uh, we can get plenty of windows in here for some nice light. And again, if you have a walkout basement or even a basement that doesn't have any exposure, uh, it's still very possible to have this exact basement. All right, well, it's a nice house, Carl. Thank you. Good job. Thanks for the tour.